Run bar. Run bar. Run bar. Hi there. If you have your run bar mounted properly, there are several important picking problems that you don't have anymore. So in this quick start video, we're going to drill down and take full advantage of the fact that these problems are now essentially eliminated. So let's go. The force required to move your pick back and forth across the strings is called shear force. The closer to the tip of your pick you pick, the less shear force you have to apply. The further from the tip of the pick or the deeper you pick, the greater the shear force you have to apply. Or alternatively, your pick topples over taking your hand with it, you have to stop the flow and recover from that. Now the world's best pickers have something in common that most pickers just don't have. They have so much pick control that they can use the same amount of shear force coming and going all the time. And that allows them to blow everybody away. So let's call the perfect amount of shear force that they might be using, or pick depth, if you will, x. Let's give it a value of x. Well, these guys are going x, 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 x all the time. Unfortunately, I know from years of teaching that this is not what's going on with most pickers. Most pickers are forced to deal with a shear force salad from hell and can't really get much going. Sure, they'll occasionally strike the perfect x shear force, but the next pick stroke's going to be x minus 2, the next one's going to be x plus 5 shear force, then x plus 3, blah, 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 and there's no flow to what they're doing. Now, this patented gizmo here called the run bar, you put it on your guitar, and it takes that problem away immediately. Now, some of you are going to justifiably say, hey, I'm already a really good picker. What's this thing going to do for me? Well, here's something for you to consider. The really, really hot players that have tried this thing, they love it. They say it picks like butter. They say it's like picking on roller skates. They say I've been playing fast all my life and I'm real fast now. That's something worth considering. First of all, we'll be picking with stuff like this, but we'll also be picking and training with stuff like this. What are you picking with now? It's a big. So how come we're able to do all this crazy stuff? Well, the run bar instantly standardizes the force required to strike the string, thus constantly training you to strike the string efficiently like elite players do. Now, you can, of course, continue to play at different heights on the face of your pick and different depths relative to the string, but the problem with that is if you do that, you'll never get any good. Run bar, exercise one. If you can scribble a tight line with your hand slightly suspended above the paper, then you can pick at high speeds. Let's go step by step to merge the two motions. When you pick on one note, that's called tremolo. Now the term tremolo's Latin root actually means trembling. And trembling, well, that's kind of it in a nutshell. A tremolo is therefore, by inference, a motion that is faster than one can consciously think up, down, up, down, up, down. The key here is we're going to let it flow. Like we said before, we're going to work out on the run bar with an empty lighter. We're then going to take the muscle motion that causes and transfer it over to a standard pick. Using a lighter isn't really all that weird. If you were picking an oud, you'd be picking with something like this. Mm -hmm. 
Now, to understand how this works, I need for you to pay ridiculously close attention to this graphic board and pen. The run bar is a device you both perform with and do specific exercises with. See, you're already able to use the fine motor skills in your wrist and fingers to scribble and do so at high speeds. The run bar is going to allow you to tap into these abilities and apply them to the guitar. Pens suck as picks, but here goes. <laughs> We want you to develop wrist and fingertip control of your pick, even while picking from your arm or from your shoulder if that's what you do. It's a high-level skill we can simplify and has a big payoff no matter what style of guitar you play. Turns out there's a reason why the uh, elite shredders have this move. This is exaggerated, but there's a telltale cocking of the thumb joint. Now to get there, let's go back to that scribbling motion for a minute. You can see the run bar is set very close to the strings. Now take your lighter and hold it as you would hold a pen or a pencil. The run bar is like a spring. I want you to take the lighter and press it down lightly on the run bar till the run bar just begins to flex a little bit. Now I want you to scribble over a string like you do with a pencil on paper. Don't even try and lift the lighter between strokes. Keep the downward pressure on. The run bar will trap the string for you. Try emphasizing wrist and fingertips while making your motion and just kind of let the string get in the way of the lighter. As soon as you've got the hang of that, Try out some licks or phrases. As you transition from the lighter to the pick, you'll notice it's easier to pick with the run bar than without it when your pick is exactly parallel to the strings. However, most pickers have a slight slant to their pick attack. And even with some really good players, that slant can be quite extreme. A lot of players slant their pick in the opposite direction. The run bar works great with either approach. Point is, don't be afraid to use an extreme slant in your transition for now. I recommend that you come back to this exercise once a week and let it sink in over a little bit of time. But as soon as you've got that blistering hot tremolo, go after it and may your fretting hand keep up. We've got information on how to make that happen at the website. So I hope you take a shot at the exercise we just went over, regardless of your skill level. But I know there's a lot of you out there who will just put on the run bar and that's it. You're off to the races. Go for it. More power to you. All we're trying to do here is fill the world with hot pickers. That's our mission. That's how we want the world to be.